Hello everyone. In the previous two lectures, we have discussed about DFT as linear transformation. In this lecture, we will solve one numerical and we will determine the DFT of a discrete time sequence x of n is equal to 1 2 1 2 using linear transformation matrix. The same question we have solved in lecture number 2 using conventional method and today we will determine the DFT using linear transformation matrix. This particular question is also very important. This is also a frequently asked question for the semester examination. So as we discussed in the previous class that x of k is always equal to wn into x of n. Whenever a w matrix is multiplied with the input matrix, it generally produces capital X of k. And we have seen the input matrix x of 0, the four point input matrix x of 1, x of 3, when multiplied with the w matrix 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 minus j, minus 1, plus j minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus j minus 1 minus j whenever this input matrix or the input sequence multiplied with the w matrix it generally produces capital x of 0 capital x of 1 capital x of 2 and capital x of 3 so let us solve this particular question x of n is equal to 1 2 1 2 so my input matrix is 1 2 1 2 and when this matrix is multiplied with the w matrix 1 1 1 1 1 1 1, 1 minus j minus j plus j plus j minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 so this w matrix is very easy to remember and the output will be the first x of k will be 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 into 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 into 1 is equal to 2 so this is 6 the first output is 6 the first DFT result is 6 second one is 1 into 1 minus 2 into j which is 2j then minus 1 then plus 2j which is equal to 2j 2j get cancelled out 1 1 cancel out the result is 0 so capital x of 1 is 0 next is 1 into 1 1 into 1 minus 2 into minus 1 which is 2 then 1 into 1 which is plus 1 then 2 into minus 1 which is minus 2 which is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 is cancelled out with 2 the result is minus 2 and the last one is 1 into 1 plus 2 into j which is 2j minus 1 minus 2j which is equal to 0 so capital X of 0 is 6, capital X of 1 is 0, capital X of 2 is minus 2 and capital X of 3 is 0. So X of k is equal to 6 plus 0j comma 0 plus 0j comma minus 2 plus 0j comma 0 plus 0j. So basically this particular output has real parts only. We don't have imaginary parts in this output. So in this way we can determine the DFT using four point linear transformation matrix. Let us take one more example. X of n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. And let us find out the DFT using linear transformation matrix. Four point DFT using linear transformation matrix. So the input samples are 
0 1 2 3 is multiplied with the w matrix which is 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 minus j minus j plus j plus j minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and this is 1 will produce the x of k result so let us find out the first row or you can say capital x of 0 so 0 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 1 is 2 3 into 1 is 3 the result is 6 next value is 0 into 1 is 0 plus 1 into minus j is minus j plus 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 plus 3 into plus j is 3 into plus j is minus sorry plus 3j and the result is minus 2 plus 2j next is 0 into 1 is 0 1 into minus 1 is 1 2 into 1 is 2 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and the result is minus 2 next value is 0 into 1 is 0 1 into plus j is j 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 3 into minus j is minus 3j and the result is minus 2 minus 2j so finally we got the dft result as x of k is equal to 6 comma minus 2 plus 2j comma minus 2 comma minus 2 minus 2j so in this particular dft result we can see that the first sample do not have any imaginary part it only has a real part the second sample has real part as well as imaginary part third sample has only real part and the fourth sample has real part as well as imaginary part so in this way we can calculate or we can compute the dft of a discrete time signal using linear transformation matrix thank you